Hello everybody and welcome. So today I'm looking at the, oops, sorry for the shaking, trying a different little setup. So today we are looking at the SR950 Professional Studio Reference Headphones by Samsung. And these are a closed ear um, design. They are 42 ohm, and I have been trying them out. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the box. So I put it back in the box so you guys could see it. And it's all, it's mostly all its glory. So we got a Manuel. Don't use this product, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, cool. Um, we have a super long, kind of fairly nice uh, cable and then we have our headphones with super plush ear cups which I really like these are so comfortable and does have a nice little um, not leather but plastic yeah it feels like plastic a uh, little thing that sets, sets on your head and yeah that's a really about it what's inside the box nothing cool never taking it out oh it does come with a 3.5 inch uh fauno to whatever that fauno is i don't use these that often actually it's been a long time but anyways and we do have a register your product online. Woo! Um, so, let me get this out of the way. And bring these back into shot. So, I have been using these on and off for three or four days. But, I needed an amplifier because my PC's built-in sound card could not drive these. Um... As you can see, there's some interesting styling on them, like around this part here. Looks like it was uh, how they pressed the cups on. Um, does not come with replacement felt or any idea of how to take this off. Uh, I want to say it had a uh, 30 millimeter driver. Let me look here. Instructions say 50 millimeter driver. So here is our specs. So we got dynamic, uh, closed back, 50 millimeter, 25 micro diaphragm. Ah, uh, night. I'm just going to... Neodymium magnet. Ugh, I can't read. Impedance, 32. So, you can see. Decently. And then, this is their uh, frequency response curve. So, it's pretty uh, right at the baseline. So, it is a reference headphone. So, it doesn't have any bass boosting or anything like that. So, I did buy an amplifier, and I will be testing that. So, I'll be back once I get used to the amplifier and finish this video. I've done some more listening and using these headphones, and this is the look. Um, but I highly recommend, if your motherboard doesn't support high impedance headphones to get an amplifier. Um, at the end of this video, I will try and remember to link to my amplifier unboxing and talking about it because that amplifier was only 25 bucks, but it brought the sound stage to these that they were missing. Um, with zero bass boost, holy crap, they sound amazing compared to what they did when 
It was just my computer powering it. Um, now there is one issue I have with my amplifier, but that will be discussed in the next vi or the other video. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Uh, if you disliked the video, you also know what to do. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and you shall see me in the next video. See ya.